When we burn fat, where does it go? Today, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about fats. First of all, what are fats? Fats are micronutrients. They are a concentrated energy source. With nine calories per gram, it plays a vital role in sustaining metabolic function. It also ensures energy availability in high stress situations, when you're dieting down or when you're surviving for your life. There are three main types of fats, saturated fats, unsaturated fats, and trans fats. Saturated fats and unsaturated fats are the main ones because trans fats are unsaturated fats that went through the process of hydrogenation. I think that's the way to say it. We all know that saturated fats are the bad kinds of fats that we try to avoid most of the time. We can find it in butter, beef, processed foods like fast foods, pizza, french fries, deep fried foods, whatever it is. These kinds of fats we are, have to try to avoid it. It's unavoidable for sure. We cannot just live without fast food and without comfort food, but, but we can just limit them as much as we can. The second and opposite type is unsaturated fats. Unsaturated fats are the healthy types of fats that we have to consume because they contribute favorably to cardiovascular health by modulating cholesterol profiles and it also affects your hormone levels. So you have to consume them in like a regular range or in regular amount. By the way, you should not cut any kind of macronutrients. All three macronutrients are important to have in a moderate way, in a sufficient way. If we take these unsaturated fats and put them in a process of hydrogenation, we will get trans fats, which is the most risky type of fats that we should avoid at all times. We can find it also in processed foods and fast foods and that kind of stuff. Hydrogenation is when you take a cooking oil and raise its temperature to a point where it will go through the hydrogenation process. For example, olive oil start to hydrogenate at 190 degrees Celsius. Especially if you have any heart condition or cardiovascular condition, it's very risky to consume trans fats. But cutting fats from your diet entirely does not mean that you're going to lose weight because losing weight is directly connected to calorie intake. If you cut fats out of your diet and you consume 3,000, 4,000 calories worth of carbs and protein, which I, like, I doubt you can do that, but if you do that with carbs, let's say, if you consume like 4,000 calories of carbs, you're going to gain weight. Weight loss is not related to any macronutrient. But if you cut out fats entirely, you will lose these kinds of vitamins, which is vitamin A, K, E, and D, because they are fat soluble vitamins. If you cut out fats from your diet, you're not going to absorb or consume these vitamins, which are essential for your health. So don't cut out fats or any macronutrient, just lower the amount that you're consuming every day. So you consume a sufficient amount of it that you live a healthy life, but you don't gain weight. It's always calories in, calories out. Okay, let's talk the opposite. What if you consumed a lot of fats, like excess amount of calories, now these fats and carbohydrates will transform into triglycerides. Triglycerides are stored in the adipose tissues, serving as a reserve source of energy if you don't have enough energy to live. So if you're cutting your weight down, you will use the fat on your body. That way, if you have high triglyceride levels, you have to lose weight to lower them down. The fifth thing we are going to talk about is omega-3 and omega-6. Omega-3 and omega-6 are an essential polyunsaturated fatty acids. That means your body cannot produce them if you do not take them from outside sources like food or supplements. So if you cut out fats, you will lose omega-3 and omega-6 and you'll be deficient in them. So you have to supplement gel pills that you can buy from the pharmacy. As they play a huge role in cardiovascular health, neural function, and inflammatory, inflammatory modulation. The last thing is answering the main question. When we burn the excess amount of fat, where does it go? So if we wanna lose weight to get the triglyceride levels down, burned fat is actually converted to carbon dioxide. Then the CO2 will be transported to the blood and from the blood to the lungs and you will breathe them. So yes, you will breathe the excess fat 
out after exercising or when exercising. That's how we burn fat. I know, it's weird, but that's how our body works. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, comment down below what you wanna know about next, and I'll see you in the next one.